hello guys can you hear me can you see me so yeah so um a lot of people are asking me yeah once again justice embassy canada yeah i'm glad to bring you live update now for those of you coming to school this september most people are scared when you pass through toronto airport what are the processes that you are going to go through in order to receive your student permit so i'm here to share with you stay with me it's just short there's nothing to be scared about a lot of people are saying that oh when you pass through toronto airport it's scary and all that now note that even though toronto toronto or ontario may not be your final destination the fact that that will be your first point of entry for you before probably you go to your final place say calgary before you go to alberta before you go to british columbia before you go to saskatchewan wherever your final destination is if toronto will be your first port of entry then when you get it that's where your study permit will be issued now mind you the study permit will not be issued when you get here immediately you board a flight in your home country usually they are going to scan your letter of acceptance they are going to scan your letter of introduction mind you if you are coming as a student immediately they ask you to submit your passport for for approval they also send you letter of introduction it's given to you by the ircc where you is given to you by the ircc which you are supposed to submit to immigration when you get to canada now if toronto is your first point of entry i will be sharing videos so you'll be seeing it it wasn't very clear because i couldn't take a very comprehensive video but i'll be sharing with you video it's a simple process you'll find one immigration officer with the signboard directing all persons coming as student for the first time to a particular section now when you get to that section already because when you are boarding the flight they scan your letter of acceptance they scan your passport they also scan your introduction letter they've started working on it already so when we i came with ethiopia air so all the people in ethiopia air because that data has been sent to the immigration state in canada they work on it and when you come they just print it out and they will mention your names at times mentioning the names are quite difficult so they may add your year of birth when you hear your name then you go for it for those for a special reason that they don't hear their name they pick their letter of introduction and they go and print it for them so it's a very simple process so if toronto may not be your final destination the fact that you've entered toronto when they are directing you to that point you need to follow because if you go you 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 will not be able to cross immigration they'll still direct you back so it's important before you even go for your back they will direct you now they do it so when we came they were doing it for air india so air india they print all start mentioning when we came air ethiopia they start mentioning once we were there we saw that flag emirate 2 has come they'll start mentioning your name those who come with couples family they give your partner something else so they'll ask you to wait i'm sure it's work permit or something like that so it's a very simple process after that process then you proceed to the next stage where you are going to do the declaration so you are going to do the declaration the things that they ask that's very simple they will ask you uh, why you are coming to canada which country you are coming from are you coming from a farmland or are you coming to canada to visit the farmland they are going to ask you you need to declare those things if you are carrying an amount of ten thousand canadian dollars or above you need to declare it. as a student i advise that you open a, an account in your home country and put your money inside you can convert your money to canadian dollars and open a canadian dollar account in your home country fine but make sure that your visa or your mastercard works because when you come here you can use it for anything and just keep just a little cash on you so those who will be carrying ten thousand about they will be asking them to declare so after you do the declaration it captures your picture and all that it's a self-service machine it's something that you should be able to do so like i said they will move you in batches so all those from ethiopia and after they give you your study permit those same immigration officers will take you to where you do the declaration after the declaration you form a queue that's when you meet the immigration officers one-on-one -on -one. is the same officers will be giving you a study permit so there is nothing to be afraid about they will ask you simple question you like this they ask me what's my name which school am i going to study you just mentioned the school you are going to study as simple as possible they will ask you the course you are, you are going to study i mentioned the course then they will ask you what you are doing in your home country you mention it for them after that some officers might ask to show your proof of funds so the things you need to print is that bank statement you submitted for your visa approval that same bank statement if it is possible and the money is still inside your account by the time you are coming print a more current one if not bring the same one you use for the application then some may may want to find out where you are going to stay 
if you have an air ticket so me like this i was going to british columbia they will ask my air ticket then some will ask uh, who are you going to stay with and all those things that is a simple process now if toronto is not your final destination usually you book a flight that you want to continue it may you might have left a gap of let's say two hours or three hours now because the process may be long it's possible that your flight might delay and you may not be able to probably you might miss your flight and most of the flight from toronto to all other parts of canada will be through air canada they have offices around they are nice people if you miss your flight because of immigration they will direct you you just tell them that i missed my flight because of immigration they will ask you where you are going you show them your boarding pass then they will re they will put you on the next available flight then you go it's a simple process immediately you are done you go for your bags they'll direct you go in batches based on the airline that you bring so it's a simple process you shouldn't be afraid just enjoy yourself but make sure that you print the bank statement your letter of acceptance make sure that you also print your letter of introduction make sure you have your passport with you and i think with, with the visa inside and i think you are good to go and guys all the best bye 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 see you soon so we'll continue our videos our videos on traveling and studying to canada make sure you like it you hit the subscribe button to continue encouraging us shout outs to senior men in the game milo tv by the beam by the beam by the bam who's gonna be happy here then plan ahead gh the number four tv then choco millionaire and all and especially you that you keep watching and making justice msc uh this channel go on thank you so much and you that who want to come and study don't worry keep following me like i said the most important thing you need is information the next video i'm going to share with you the amount how much it will cost for you to receive or for you to travel to canada to study it didn't cost me much it cost me some few dollars and also within one month i applied they gave me the visa so so stay with me be with me thank you for now i'm out bye 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 bye, bye.